hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to reduce background noise from your system just like this to something like this it's going to be easy so watch out hello guys dk wisdom here with vitify bringing you the best tips and tricks to boost your video over the youtube platform and on this channel we do a lot of photo editing tutorials as well as video editing tutorials just like this one so if you're interested consider subscribing now let's get into the video like i said earlier on i will show you how you can actually reduce the background noise of any of your video or clips right in adobe premiere Pro. so here's the clip of what we want to reduce the noise because on this clip i have a lot of background noise but yeah so i'm just going to test this for you guys and you see how that goes so if i play this Hello guys, guys, it's DK Wisdom here again and in this video I'll be showing you how to minimize your data usage on a Windows 10. If you do own a Windows 10 just like me, I'll be showing you how to reduce the data cost so that you don't get to spend much data than necessary and we're starting right now. So here is the clip of the video and actually you can hear a lot of background noise from this clip. So I'm just going to show you a little fast way that you can actually reduce the noise on any of your videos. So I'm just going to start by actually making this track into two separate audio tracks so i'm just going to show you this so to do this i'm just going to cut this and i'm going to leave one on track one and i'm going to leave the other one on track two so once i've done something like this i want to reduce the noise for the track two right here and um, next i'm just going to head to the audio track mixer so you just want to head to audio track mixer if you can't find the track mixer you want to head to window and make sure audio track mixer is checked and once you have done that you want to simply come to audio track mixer here and remember we want to reduce the background noise for the track 2 so as you can see right here if you scroll a little bit down you see that this is the audio track 2 and um, what you want to simply do here is that you want to click on this small body right here to show all the effects and presets so this is right here as you can see there's nothing on the track 2 so to do this you just simply want to click on the down body right here you want to select that and you want to go to noise and reduction and restoration so you want to click on the noise and once you click on the noise it's going to show you some amount and you want to simply double click on this one right here so once you double click on that one right there it's going to open up the denoise effect and you can be able to set some things now on this level what you want to simply do is that you want to change the amount to something around 60 i guess 60 is a little bit better for your voice because you can actually reduce it according to the level of noise you have on your videos but i think 60 is enough and if it still has a lot of noise you want to simply move it to 70 but what i want you to do is that you don't want to move it until it starts getting into your voice you want to move it bit by bit until you can't actually see any noise so as you can see that's how easy it is now what you want to simply do is that you want to make sure that it is um processing or focusing on all qualities or all frequencies right here you just want to make this one checked right here and once you do that you can simply close the page this way and once you close the page the video actually on this track any video or any audio track you place on track two will automatically be the noise so for now as you can see this you audio looks like then just like me i'll be showing you how to reduce the data cost so that you don't get to spend much data than necessary and we're starting right now so at least now it's a little bit better than before so once i play the first track right here you're gonna see a little bit of difference from the audio or from the noise hello guys it's dk wisdom here again and in this video i'll be showing you how to minimize your data usage on a windows 10 if you do own a windows 10 just like me i'll be showing you how to reduce the data cost so that you don't get to spend much data than necessary and we're starting right now so did you notice how the voice or how the noise actually on these two clips actually changed at this first side it had a lot of noise but in the second side right here it had a little bit noise but you still hear some ending noise which is like the hammer noise so what you want to simply do is that you want to simply click on another slot or another track and now you want to still go to noise and reduction and you want to click on the hammer so once you click on that double click on this one right here and it's going to show you some things like this i want to um, increase the g hammer to around 60 percent i think 60 percent is okay but if you can go with the 70 percent you can actually go for anyone as far as it doesn't get into your main voice so that's what you want to do for me i'm just going to leave it at 60 percent and um 
I'm just going to click on the close button right here. And now, once I play the clip right here, you're going to see that it's going to stop the humming noise from this clip actually. Because so that you don't get to spend much data than necessary. And we're starting right now. So as you can see, it doesn't harm anymore. It now it has treble right now. So the last thing you want to add to your noise profile or to the clip you actually want to reduce the noise is that you want to add bass. So once you add bass, it gives you an extra voice or let's say an extra tone than just being clear that way. So what you want to do now is that after adding the bass, you just want to simply double click on this place right here. And once you double click, you can actually change the decibels right here and you want to bring it to something around 4 or 5. This is the actual good one for your videos. So if you want to go with higher ones, it's up to you depending on how your sound or how your clips sound like or which microphone actually you're using because we use big microphones or like bigger microphones like the Blue Yeti microphone. You're going to get a little bit clear audio than when you use the C920 microphone. So it's a, it's diff there are a difference between the both of them. But if you add this effect, I'm going to show you you will get crystal clear audio show you how to reduce the data cost so that you don't get to spend much data than necessary and we are starting right now if the hammer noise is like a little bit bigger than the rest of your clip you can actually change that and bring it a little bit downward something around them um, something 55 or something like that so you want to like reduce it to make sure it sounds perfectly on your clips because having good audio can actually convey a viewer to a subscriber so as you can see right here, this is how you can easily do that. Hey, I'll be showing you how to reduce the data cost so that you don't get to spend much data than necessary. And we're starting right now. So with that, you can see that we have actually reduced the entire noise of this clip. So the next thing you just simply need to do is to add a de-easer effect. So once you add a de-easer effect, it eases the whole noise and makes it like a little bit clearer than the other ones. So once you add this de-easer effect, you can actually find that in amplitude and compression. Click on de-easer. And once you double click on that you can actually set some of the things and maybe you, normally you do want to leave it at minus 30 db but like, like i said before it depends on your clip so depending on the range or how your clip sound you want to increase this so i'm just going to leave this at 30 for now and we're just going to hear on and we're going to hear how it actually sounds i'm sure you how to reduce the data cost so that you don't get to spend much data than necessary and we're starting right now so as you can see that's actually good but if you still want to increase that you can actually increase that so double clicking on that you can actually set it to maybe minus 40 or you can bring it upward depending on how much you want it to ease the voice or the easy audio so now clicking play will give you another sound you don't get to spend audio. much data than necessary and we're starting right now so for me i recommend you go deeper than actually going forward so as you can see this is minus 21 decibels so you can bring it to something around minus 40 and it will give you a lot of crystal clear audio right from your videos so now let's play that one more time you have to reduce the data cost so that you don't get to spend much data than necessary and we're starting right now so after all this what you want to simply do is that you want to reduce the volume of your clip and add some background music and you are good to go and that's how easy it is you can actually reduce the voice or the background noise of your clips using the the noise the hammer bias and the ESA effect right in premiere pro hope this was actually helpful to you and thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one and quickly before i go if you haven't yet subscribed do that right now give the video a like if you actually gained anything from this video and also if you have any question on how to use this effect Leave it down in the comments and I will be there to answer you all your questions. And lastly, before I go, I would like to know which video editing software do you like using? Do you like using Premiere Pro or you like using Camtasia? Let me know by leaving a comment right now.